difference. All these games suck. All these games suck too. I'm surrounded by filth. Might as well just cover my walls and shit. I'm living in shit. Fucking video games. We wasted so many hours of human life with this vile crap. We failed in our existence when we were cursed with the technology to invent such horrible mind-rotting catastrophes. We were better in the fucking medieval times. I wish we were just sitting on a riverbank playing with fucking rocks! This game sucks, and this game sucks, and this game sucks, and this game sucks! This fucking thing barely even works. And this fucking thing, and this fucking thing, and this fucking thing, and this fucking thing. And this fucking thing, and this fucking thing, and this fucking thing, and this fucking thing, and this fucking thing. I don't like them. Well, what are we gonna play this time? Gyromite? That was one of the original NES launch titles. Yeah, like Duck Hunt, Excite Bike, and Super Mario Brothers. All the initial classics. Let's try it out. Robot Gyro. Well, that's a good sign when the title of the game isn't the same as on the fucking cover. Okay, I get it. This is like some kind of two-player co-op mode. Okay, well, I was pretty sure I picked one player. I did. The one-player mode is a two-player game. The first player controls the professor, and the second player controls the gates. You both gotta work together. In the two-player mode, the only difference is that the two players alternate back and forth. So, either way, it's a co-op game. Okay, so I need a second player? Who the hell am I gonna get to play this shit with me? I will play. I am Rob, Robotic Operating Buddy. Okay, cool. A robot. Here you go. Error does not compute. Requires adaptive device. It's a controller! You play it! I do not have thumbs, you moron. Requires adaptive device. Location, bottom drawer. 3.6 centimeters depth, front right corner, 9.1 centimeters right. in. This thing? Correct. Place controller into tray. Align actuators with buttons. Okay, I get it. You push these little things and they activate the buttons. That's a little excessive, but whatever. All right, Rob, you got all your stuff. You're all set. Let's play. Insufficient. Must have gyros. You want a fucking gyro now? Damn gyro. You idiot. That is not a gyro. I know. I tried. What do you want me to go to fucking Greece? Bottom drawer. Okay, so these are the gyros. In other words, spinning tops. They come with a spinner which takes a D battery top of the four double A's you'll need for Rob. When you place a gyro on the spinner, it does just that. It spins. Man, does this thing spin. You can probably sharpen a pencil on it. Now this whole setup is like something Doc Brown or Pee Wee Herman would use. You ready now, Rob? You happy? You got enough shit to work with? Affirmative. Affirmative your ass! Let's play! So this is how it works. 
When you want to control Rob, you press start. Now the screen flashes different colors, which somehow communicates with Rob through the sensors in his eyes. Creepy. And now we're finally ready to move that gate. Ah, finally! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! The object of the game is simple. Professor Hector somehow got himself trapped in a room full of dynamite and dinosaurs. Man, he really fucked up. Supposedly, these dinosaurs, or whatever, are called smicks. If you touch them, you die. Unfortunately, Hector cannot jump. He can't even reach out to grab dynamite that's right above his face. This means having to climb up to a higher height and drop down on the dynamite. He can also pick up radishes. The Smicks happen to love radishes and will stop at anything to eat them. If your timing is right, you can use the gates to squish the Smicks. Yeah! But watch out, the same thing can happen to the professor. The goal is to collect all the dynamite. After that, you advance to the next stage. It's like a classic arcade platformer like Donkey Kong or the original Mario Brothers. It could be a fun game, except for having to use a damn robot! Alright, Rob, you wanna play something else? How about Life Force? Negative. Well then, what do you wanna play? Stack Up. Stack Up? Sure about this, Rob? Yes, trust me, it's good. Robot Block? What's with the alternate titles? The idea is to set up the blocks in a prearranged pattern. And yes, that's what they call them blocks. They're a little bit, um, rounded, I'd say, for blocks. The goal is to move the blocks from one pattern to the next, with as few moves and in as little time as possible. So Rob is a little more functional here than in Gyromite, meaning that this is a physical game where the outcome is determined by how soon you get the blocks to their final destination. Ugh. When you're done, you press start. Because there's no way the game actually knows when you win, you can just lie and keep pressing start all you want. It almost doesn't even need to be a video game. The video part is just to control the robot. Down. By hopping around on different command keys, Down. or programming a preset combination of movements, or by playing bingo. Each row corresponds with a Rob movement. When the row is completed, he does that movement. Right. Why well, do I have to control a professor in a game to control a robot? Why can't I just control the robot myself? That'd be a lot easier, right? Yeah, a remote control robot. Kids would like that. You'd see him sit on the sidewalks playing with their remote control robs. You just need to bring a TV set outside just to use them, that's all. All right, Rob, let's uh, play something different. Oh, how about Contra? Negative. No? Uh, how about, uh, Bubble Bobble? That's a great two-player game. Negative. Well, then what do you want to play? Gyromite. Gyromite? Well, we already played that. Let's pick something different. Stack up. Those can't be the only two games you play. How about Double Dragon 2 or Dr. Mario? Family Feud? Does not compute. Must be Gyromite or Stack Up. Oh, come on, Rob. You come over and all you want to play are the same two games. Look, I got this whole shelf, both sides, nearly 800 NES games. Gyromite. Or stack up.
right. Smicks a dick. Oh, fuck. Knock it the fuck off. No, don't knock it off. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? You know what? You be the first player. Yeah, let's see how you like it. Piece of shit! The hell with Rob. I'm playing by myself. All because you need two controllers. You know what? I'll just play with my feet. Yeah, that works pretty good. Or wait, better yet. My new invention, I call it the Gyromite controller. It plays Gyromite. Wait a minute, I got a better idea. How about play a different fucking game? Doing this, you cybernetic shit sucker! Nintendo made video games awesome again, for the most part. But I don't think Nintendo's success had anything to do with you! Be quiet. You are a biological unit with insufficient intellect to make that determination. You're no hero! This is my hero!
Shitty games. No more Karate Kid. No more Top Gun. No more Ghostbusters. No more Fester's Quest. <sighs> no more Virtual Boy. No more Dick Tracy. No more Little Red Hood. No more Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I won't fucking have it! That's the way you're gonna get it! 